What's up guys, got a couple of minor league recaps. I know I don't put videos out as much as I used to, mainly because I don't have as much time, but um gotten a few bobbleheads, you know, I went up to Rome uh, a couple of days ago and got that Freeman that sold for like a hundred something dollars, so I was able to get two of them, but the other one's already gone, so yeah, uh, I just gave it to a buddy, so no, I wasn't being a greedy douchebag and sold it for a hundred something, so just in case you were wondering. Um, yeah, I've been getting a lot of the bobbleheads. I got the Richmond, um, one that they gave out, even though the logo, the Braves logo is like upside down. Uh, I don't feel like showing them all. I've got most of them in boxes, but I got that one and I got, uh, I don't know if I've shown them like all the Mississippi ones in. I got the Lynchburg Gaddis in and then Ron Gant, obviously from uh, Gwinnett, which he was there. So there's that. Uh, got quite a few. Uh, just got to get Danville and the rest of the Atlanta Braves ones, and I'll have all the Braves and Braves affiliates from this year that, that was given out. So that's always nice. And anyway, let's go and get right into the uh, recap. Not a lot going on, guys. I just kind of don't go for everyone anymore. It's just you get a stockpile of stuff of it's like scrub minor league guys that you can't do anything with. So I just kind of go for the prospects or something for the set and that's it so um for single a first i'm gonna start with this douchebag josh hart <laughs> this guy's like 18 19 years old i want him on a ball he's the fourth overall prospect in the orioles organization i want him on the ball sweet spot because i collect he's technically still a 2013 first round pick even though it's like a uh compensation pick whatever um, so I want him on a ball of the inscription sweet spot. Like I've already got Clint Frazier and Austin Meadows that way. Um, so I, I gave this to him with the jacket. I asked for 2013 first round and he side panels me with the jacket on. I was like, wow. So yeah, I'm going to be trying to sell that, which probably won't happen, but if not, then I'll just wipe it off. I got that, but luckily, I did get one good one. Hunter Harvey, with the inscription. Luckily, he signed, because at Rome, you can't get a white guy's postgame, um, which sucks. Rome is like out in the middle of nowhere, guys, like... I'm thinking about maybe going Tuesday to get Meadows again. They got Meadows and Reese McGuire on uh, West Virginia Power, but it's I mean it's a long haul, and I'm, I'm not to really think about it. I'm off Tuesday, but I don't know if I want to waste that much time going there and back. It's like four hours round trip. So anyway, I was glad to get him. Um, so it was nice that he signed, even though he was pitching. So there's that, and then. Um, Scranton wise, I uh, got these two cards done for the set. Taylor Dugas and Nick Turley. Um, I got three of these done. Phil Gosselin, who just got called up, they sent Pastor Nicky down. <laughs> I was kind of laughing about that. Pastor Nicky really sucks. He's kind of a dick too. He only signs like one card, even though he's trash but whatever uh there's that then i went ahead and got robert russ snyder on a ball just because he's supposed to be getting called up at some point and he'll probably be the second baseman uh, he's been okay but i mean obviously they need a second baseman and even if he does decent with him being with the yankees his stuff is just gonna skyrocket so i got that and then uh, ron gant was signing that day that they gave out the bobblehead so, um, I didn't get the inscription on here. I don't really care about that too much on him, but got Ron Gant on a, uh, 95 all-star ball. I got through the line like three times, even though it was like super packed. Um, but helps people out with stuff, but I also got this done. Sports Illustrated from like 93. Signed really good looking there, so. Sucks it had the address on it, but as long as I could find, nobody had the uh, the label, newsstand versions on eBay, so 
It was fine though. I'm glad I got this one signed. It's definitely going to be going up on a wall eventually. I got just so much stuff I can't do anything with. <laughs> just hoarding in the closet. So uh, eventually when uh, if I move or something, I'll get that stuff done and make everything look good. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm probably, I don't really care about doing Atlanta much until the Dodgers get here. I'll probably go for Gaddis Bobblehead night, even though it's going to be like the worst night to graph. Um, then we got two other bobblehead days in Atlanta. Other than that, I might do that. I might do the A's on that Sunday, but kind of burned out, man. So, and I work a lot, but, uh, thanks for watching and see you guys later.